Hi, this is Roses and Tea, and as a great act of love to some of you, and you know who you are, who've been wanting to know a little bit more about canning, I thought I'd take you through some of the steps and show you some of my equipment. Uh, so here we go. I've made some crab apple and hawthorn jelly today uh, from fruits that my daughter and I gathered last week, or just a few days ago. I'm going to use uh, my jar tongs to help me turn my jars back over. They've been in the oven sterilizing. Uh, so they're hot. And uh, actually it's easier if I just do like this. I've got some proper canning jars and then some little jam jars that just need lids. These are jar lifters, and here's a jar funnel. And this is my warts and all kitchen, so this is why it's an act of love. I'm showing you all I've got, really. In this pan, and I don't know if my daughter can get it, um, are the jar lids, two-piece jar lids, and one-piece jar lids. And they're just heating up to soften the rubber for, to make a good seal, and also to sterilize them a little bit. Uh, and here's the canner. I'm not going to be using pressure canning today, just using a regular water bath canner. And back here is the jam. And um, it's come to a royal, rolling boil and to a setting point. So now it's just a matter of uh, filling the jars. And I'm going to fill my proper canning jars first. And then if there's anything left over, I'll use the small jars. And although I've heated, heated the, um, the lids to the small jars first, it's not going to hurt them to cool down and uh, be used again and heated up again. I think I've gone beyond setting point actually with this jam, but never mind. It's just the basic principles that we're trying to get. So I'm just filling up my jars, and I think I'm not going to get, but maybe two half liter jars, and maybe a half pint jar, and I'm not even filling the, the half liter jars completely full. That's all right. It'll fit into the 10 minute YouTube. My faithful partner in crime is being very patient whilst filming this. And at this point, I think I'm just going to Take the kettle and uh, pour it in. I didn't use any pectin in this because the crab apples actually provide a lot of pectin from their core. Uh, just the type of chemicals they have, I suppose. And I don't know about hawthorns, whether they have pectin in them or not. So I'm just going to give my jars a wipe. Ouch, that's hot. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Frequently heard in my house, isn't that right? Partner in crime. Yeah. <laughs> She's nodding her head. <laughs> and um, these have steamed, and of course they're going in a water, boiling water bath. So they're going to get boiled anyway. So. I'm going to just pour the excess water out so I can fetch out the jar lids without doing myself harm. Um, I'm using a two-piece jar lid system for my canning jars. You can find these on the internet or in the high street of 
some towels at Lakeland Plastics. Or oh, they just call themselves Lakeland now, don't they? Um, but you have an inner inner part that you just fit on the jar thusly. Yep. And um, then you then you put the ring on. Well, you supposedly put the ring on. Uh, tighten it and bring it back about a quarter or a tenth of a turn. Put the lid on. Put the ring on. We don't look too closely at the jam because it's kind of um, a bit funny, but that's all right. I got a bit distracted. It'll still be good to eat. Uh, tighten and then release a quarter of a turn, and that's still allow the air to come out. Now I'm going to um, sounds obvious. I'm going to take the lid off, but I'm going to lift it away from me so that some of the steam can go out of my face and not to my face. Then uh, I don't know if you can see in there without getting too steamy. Um, there's a, a bit at the bottom that holds the jars off the bottom. And the water is high enough that when I place all the jars in, it's going to go over their lids. And um, you can see normally I would get more in. And I'm going to put the lid on, crank up the heat, and then you time, you time the canning process from when the canner gets to a roll, rolling boil after you've put your jars in. So that's it for now because um, I can't stand here watching the can uh, coming to boil because the watch pot never boils. So we'll see you another time. And thank you to my camera lady. <laughs> Put the thing.